now for more reaction out of the United States. We welcome Dr. Omekongo Dabinga, a diversity expert and author, and he joins us live from Washington. Dr. Dabinga, thank you so much for joining us on this very important day. And we heard there in that report some of the celebrations in the streets of the U.S. You can imagine the range of emotions following the verdict, but many pointing out that George Floyd is one of many murder cases in the United States. So to start, talk to us about your reaction when you heard that Derek Chauvin was found guilty on all counts. Well, first of all, I, I, I was excited <clears throat> excuse me i was excited definitely to hear about the verdict but as it was said by by george floyd's brother there, there's more work to be done uh, about 24 hours from now we're going to be burying dante wright the 20 year old who was also shot in minnesota as well on, on a police stop and we also have the the george floyd cry, uh, bill for police reform that we're waiting for the senate to pass and so this was about more so about accountability towards one officer it's a breath of fresh air on one level we can breathe for a short amount of time but there's a lot more work to do because there are so many cases that don't go addressed or these officers just get acquitted and of course not only are there more cases but there are many that aren't caught on film of course the killing of george floyd sparking universal outrage because people got to witness that horrifying footage for themselves to see the fear and the brutality so given the country's history of racial inequality how do you think this case is likely to change the current racial dynamic if at all well first of all we also have to give credit to 17 year old darnella frazier who filmed the video because the police report, which many people are seeing now, said that this man died of a medical incident. So if we didn't have that video, we would have never had any of this going on. And so how it's going to make a change as it relates to racial justice, men, I, I do, do believe that it's going to be significant because there has been a multiracial coalition of people demanding justice in this trial and many other trials. And this is going to continue that movement. So again, it, it's one step forward. We're hoping that we don't have two steps backwards going forward with some of these other cases, but we do have a little bit more solidarity going forward thanks to this verdict and this case. And as you say, the case is obviously raising awareness about racial injustice, police brutality. And just a short while ago, the U.S. Justice Department announcing a probe into Minneapolis police practices. After this verdict, there are renewed calls, of course, for police reform in the U.S. What steps do you think are likely to be taken now? Is defunding the police the way to go? Your thoughts? Well, uh, I'm so glad that the Justice Department is looking into this because there were many instances like this that the Obama administration were looking to, into as it relates to working with these police departments and investigating them, and that ended under Trump. Many police departments actually herald this because it takes some of the work they need to do to hold their officers accountable out of their hands. As it relates to defunding the police, I think the, 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 the wording and the marketing of the term is bad. I don't believe in that term of defunding and getting rid of police departments, but I do believe that we need to stop providing funding for things like military uh, artillery and tanks to be on our streets and reallocate some of that money towards other parts of the department to have more social workers who can appear on the scene and people who can work with domestic, people who suffer, suffer from domestic violence. We need to kind of refund, reallocate some of those funds at the end of the day and also have more funding in the community because many of our young people who are getting involved in these situations just don't have jobs, don't have access to anything and end up on the legal side of, of problems. And if they had more opportunities, through community funding for programs, we can also avoid some of these tragic incidents. Certainly the whole world watching developments out of the United States. Thank you so much for your insights, Dr. Omekongo Dibinga, a diversity expert and author speaking to us live from Washington. We appreciate your time. Thank you.